<laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me that you actually thought the recruiting news for Miami couldn't get any better. Well, think again, because it just did. What's going on, Canes fans? Now, before we jump into this quick little recruiting update video, make sure that you click the link down in my pinned comment to join the free official Coach Coop Discord. The Discord is a 24-7 open chat room where we talk about the Miami Hurricanes literally all day, every day. I'll see you over there. So yes, it's true. The four-star defensive end Ruben Bain has committed to the Miami Hurricanes and he did so earlier today. He comes in as the number 70 overall player and number nine defensive end in the 2023 recruiting class. Now, obviously many Canes fans felt like Bain was a lock from the jump and completely understandable, right? I mean, he has a family history with the Miami Hurricanes and heck I mean he even has several family members on the staff but there towards the end I gotta admit that Florida State was pushing hard for this guy I mean Mike Norvell even threw a birthday party for his mama Happy But at the end of the day, I think we can all agree that cookie cake is far superior to regular cake. And it was not enough in this late push by Florida State to change Reuben Hurricane Bain's mind. And not even just talking about Florida State, Bain had big offers from multiple schools. We're talking guys like Alabama, Auburn. Florida, Louisville, and that's just to name a few. Almost every team in the country was foaming at the mouth to get this guy. And he still has a lot of areas to improve on. I mean, he's not perfect, but that applies to every recruit coming into college. But there's no denying that Bain was a highly productive pass rusher during his time at Miami Central. This guy totaled 145 tackles, 114 of those being solo, and 57 sacks. He's six foot two, around 250 pounds. And with Bain's commitment today, we're going to jump over and take a look at the 2023 recruiting rankings to see where Miami now sits. Now, what was very interesting right quick about the Bain situation is he actually wasn't expected to announce until later this week, but he had made a silent commitment already to Miami, and he was already so confident that that's where he wanted to be that he just came out and said, you know what, screw it. Let's go ahead and do this thing. I'm going to go ahead and announce that I am a Miami Hurricane. And just the way that he approached that, guys, there wasn't a ton of drama. There wasn't a bunch of theatrics and various different things. I absolutely love it. Those are the types of guys that we're looking to bring into this program when we're talking about the culture that we're trying to build here at Miami. But if we jump over and take a look at the recruiting rankings, and boy, oh boy, if you're a Canes fan, this is going to put a smile on your face. I think we were previously around seven or eight before Bain's commitment. And if you'll now notice, you don't have to scroll very far to find the Miami Hurricanes. We're now sitting pretty at number five. And now not to take away from Reuben Bain in any way, but I'm just saying Miami currently sitting at number five. We all know coming up later this week is going to be Samson's announcement. Now, if the Miami Hurricanes were somehow lucky enough to also land Samson, man, we're in an absolute dogfight with Florida for this dude. Miami could find themselves realistically in the top three, which is just absolutely mind-blowing. We've already talked about this, but after a 5-7 and seven season, what I don't understand is when I continue to see fans try to make fun of Miami and they say, ha ha ha, Ruben Bain committed to a five and seven Miami Hurricanes. Yeah, that's backfiring against you because imagine what types of commits we're going to get when we're winning football games. After we've actually rebuilt this thing, if we have a number five recruiting class in 2023 after a five and seven season, I know you're worried. You better beware because the Miami Hurricanes are coming for your recruits. You best believe it, man. And just imagine, bro, just imagine 
We got Ruben Bain and Jaden Wayne on this squad, bro. This is something serious. Jaden Wayne at six foot five, Ruben Bain six two. And then imagine maybe we throw Collins in the mix sometimes on the outside. Six foot seven. I know that guy's got a lot that he needs to learn just about the game in general, but man, the size. You absolutely freaking love it, man. The size that Mario is bringing in to this program is just a much needed change. We're going to work on building the trenches and we're going to do this thing right. We're in it for the long haul. So I'm not saying to forgive Mario for the Middle Tennessee loss and the five and seven season and all these various different things, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. Again, fans, guys, go back and forth with him. They're going to continue to try to make fun of us. They're going to, you know, say the five and seven. They're going to talk about the empty stadium. They're going to, they're going to preach the off-season champions thing again. But listen, bro, I want to continue to make moves during the off-season in hopes that eventually it will translate to the field during the actual season. I still want to have big-time off-seasons, even though in the past we've had big ones and it hasn't equaled a lot during the season. It's still a good thing to land big-time recruits and make big time moves in the off season. So let me see you guys give Ruben Bain a nice warm welcome down in the comment section. A lot of these recruits do watch the channel. They tell me all the time that they watch the videos. So there's a good chance that he sees your comment and we got to show this dude some love. I keep telling Canes fans, you want to have a positive impact on recruiting? Go show them some love on social media. Show them some love on these videos because they do in fact see it and it does mean a lot to them. This guy is family, and let's welcome him to the Miami Hurricanes. Guys, if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure that you double check that. We recently hit 20,000 subs on this channel. We'll do a big celebratory stream, a give back to the community. I thank you guys for that, but you're gonna wanna make sure you're subscribed so you can stay up to date with the recruiting news and the transfer portal news, potential coaching changes coming up, and anything and everything with the Miami Hurricanes. Remember, though, guys, we're all one big happy college football family, but at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see you all in the next one.